big news. So today we are going to make the defensive cards for my new game, my new prototype, Meemaw's Monsters Tower Defense. Why am I so excited? Well, I'm excited because this idea has been in my head for like a month, month and a half now. And the whole tower defense game type has been in my head for eight, nine years. Um, so I'm about to make my first prototype of this new version and I want to share that process with you and show you how I go through Nandek and create a Google Sheet and link it with Nandek and that way it's super easy for me to update my cards as opposed to the old times when I would write down all of my cards on note cards and then have a play test and then realize oh man I have to change 40 cards and make 40 new note cards it was so miserable so with this new new way I get to go into an Excel sheet and then update my cards and hit a button and then it makes them all and I just print them out. So I'm going to show you how I do that right now. The first thing we're going to do is jump over to Google Sheets right here. This is where I have my game pretty much made and we have to link this Google Sheet into Nandek which we have open here and I'll show you how to do that. B before we can link our Google Sheet, we have to share it. So I'm going to come up here to the top right, left click share, and then we're going to click this left click get shareable link right here. And now um, now our, our link is shared and we can, Landek can now um, access the information that we have on here. So, all right, now we're over in Nandek and I'm going to paste in some code here. It's going to look confusing if you haven't seen this before, but don't worry, I'm going to explain it. So. I'm going to paste in this standard code that I use. This sets our units to inches right here. And then line two is going to set our page to eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Portrait, so straight up. Um, card size, two and a half by three and a half inches, standard playing card size. And then I'm going to add a little border, a little black border around the edge to help make it kind of look nice. Right here is our link. Um, so you'll notice this is a Google Sheet. I'm going to show you where I get this. Uh, so after we've shared our link so that Nandek can access it, we can then go in here and in between this, these numbers right here, <laughs> just highlight the numbers in between edit and the D. And you're going to copy, control C, and then paste it here in this link. So now our information's over in Nandek. Nandex now linked to this Google Sheet here, and it can access all of the information that I've put in my sheet. These last two commands, uh, the zoom function, this lets us zoom in a little bit on the card so that we can see them better after we build them. This print function lets us print only a certain amount of cards. So if you're only wanting to print like cards number 34 through 51, then you can do that here. Uh, right now I'm going to turn that off for just a second and to turn it off you just put an apostrophe before that directive so before this line of code I put an apostrophe and that tells Nandak don't run that code okay so we have it have our um, cards linked next thing we're gonna do is open the visual editor what we're doing in the visual editor is going to let us um, start laying out the the information that we have in the spreadsheet how we want it. So the first thing I want to do is if you can see in the spreadsheet I want to put this energy cost here in the top top left of the card so that way when you're shuffling through the card you can easily see how much a certain card costs. We're gonna go here to text and it's gonna make a big text box in the middle. I'm gonna make that smaller And then I want to make a font directive so that I can say how big I want that text. So I'm, I left click the font directive and that's going to make it over here. I need that above my text directive. Um, so I'm going to right click on the font. And 32, that sounds good. Um, that's how big our text is going to be. And now I'm going to right click on text and double left click here where it says text this text box double left click here and I'm gonna put energy cost because that's what I want in the top left and I'm gonna insert it and click confirm 
So just to show you real quick what I did, I'm going to left click confirm down here and then I'm going to left click validate and left click build the deck. So what we've done so far is we made this black border with this directive and then we added in the visual editor to to put our energy cost in the top left. So now we can left click card preview and this is one reason we zoom in a bit so that I can see all of the card otherwise it would go off my screen. Um, but now you can see I can go back to the beginning I have one cost card and then I have two cost cards all the way up to three or three and four cost cards. So that's what we did there and now we're gonna keep accessing information from our spreadsheet. I want to put these two, these two numbers are like how much damage the cards are doing to the monster. So I'm going to do those next. So we have single attack and nature attack. And just as a side note, the single attack does damage to one monster. The nature is kind of like lightning or whatever. Some kind of storms where the player can choose what monsters take the damage. So if you have six damage and it's nature, you can do two damage, one damage, and three damage to three different monsters. So uh, we're going to go back in the visual editor to do this. So I'm going to left click the visual editor. I want to duplicate this object. What that does is it creates another one and I'm going to pull it down. I think for the damage, the attack damage, I'm actually going to duplicate this twice because I want one, one of them here and one of them below it. And then I'm going to also duplicate the font object twice. And I'm going to put a font, ob a font directive above each of my text directives. This lets me format each text directive individually. So, um, But before I do the font, I want to actually change. So I'm going to right click on this text directive. And instead of energy costs, you can see we're down here in the bottom left. I want to do single attack. So I'm going to insert that here and then left click confirm. And then I want to, for this text directive, I want this to be, instead of energy cost, I want this to be nature attack. And left click confirm. This card doesn't have nature damage, that's why it's not showing up. So right now, I'm on this text directive and I want to make it slightly smaller. So what I'm going to do is go up to the font above it and then let's say 28. That's eh, not, let's do 24. That looks good. Um, so confirm that. And then actually I want to make this a different color just to like kind of separate them a little bit. I'm going to select red for this one and then left click confirm and now I need to go to a card that has this one um, so where's that so this is the nature damage so I'm gonna go up here make this a 24 as well make them the same size I'm gonna leave the color black because I think that will look good against the red and then instead I'm gonna go up here and change this to blue because I don't know blue energy sound, sounds good to me so I'm going to go up here, right click on font, and choose a color. I'm going to change this to this color blue. And now I'm going to left click confirm and see how that does. I'm going to right click validate now that I know there's no errors in the code. Right clicking validate will both validate and build the deck at the same time. I'm going to left click card preview, go look at the cards again, go from the beginning, and kind of look and see how they're doing. So this is what they look like without the text so far and it's just energy cost at the top and then either nature damage or um, single target damage at the bottom which to me looks pretty good for a start. So next thing I want to add is fortify. Fortify is like in my game, the defensive player can fortify their towers or just like add health or defense to them. So I want to add fortification next. Go back to Nandek, click Visual Editor, and let's um, copy this one. 
I'm going to move that over here this time. And I need a new font directive as well because I want to change its color too. I'm going to duplicate that font directive, move it above this text directive. First, I need to right click text and fortify. Insert that there. And go to a card that has fortify on it. Here's one. So I'm going to make this one whatever color this is. I'm going to click confirm. I think that looks decent. I'm going to left click confirm, right click build again. And we're getting really close to having these cards uh, ready. We just, so we have the energy cost, the nature attack, the single target attack, and the fortif fortify. The last thing I think we need. So I, I eventually want to have a type, card type, and a name, but I don't yet. And I'm playtesting tomorrow, so I'm going to save the name and type for later when I have more time to brainstorm. But for now, we're going to add text, and that will be the last thing that I need to add um, to make all the cards. So I'm going to duplicate this object. Now this one's going to be a little tricky because... Um, so the thing that's going to be hard about this is... I have to remember that there is a fortify number here and then the two attack types here. So I might just like put this over here and it's just a prototype. So I'm just kind of giving it room to, to do whatever. Um, I'll make it look prettier at a later point if the prototype's fun enough to continue making. So I'm going to right click the text, that will open this up, and instead of fortify, I want the text label. So I'm going to insert that. And this is how I want it, except for the font obviously isn't right. So I need to so confirm that. I'm going to get another font, put that above the text that I want, right click, and this needs to be pretty small. Let's go with nine. And the color, we're going to go with black. I'm going to confirm that. And now left click confirm. Right click to validate. And my prototype should pretty much be, I think, yeah, I think it's done. Um, so I'm going to go to the back to the beginning, just kind of go through here. Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> you see how this two is cut off? That's because this text box. Um, that I made this text box is causing problems so I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to go back into the visual editor and I need this text box to first of all I need to word wrap center that will let us that will let the text go down instead of just go off the page so that's all I need to do in the text I'm going to confirm that and then in the font I need to make this transparent Making it transparent will allow the other numbers to see through instead of just having a big white box, basically. So let's see if that fixed our problem. I'm going to right-click Validate, and it looks like that fixed our problem. So now, now we can see the text here, the single target damage, the text and the nature damage, and then the fortification and the energy cost, of course. So that's, I mean... We, we did it. We made the prototype. Um, the cool part about this, the other th thing I want to show you um, real quick, the cool part about this is, you know, once I play test this game and realize 40 out of the 60 cards aren't working how I want them to, instead of having to draw on new note cards to make them, I can just come into Google Sheets and update these numbers or update the text or whatever I do. It's super quick. It's so much faster than having to write them out by hand. Um, so this will save you time in the long run, a lot of time if you make multiple prototypes, which I normally do. Uh, the other thing is this print directive here. I'm going to X out of this. This print directive and this zoom directive, I want to put this below here. I actually should have put this below here earlier probably. I'm going to validate the deck again. Um, so this zoom directive is zooming in on our cards. 
and also it will make it so that they print nine to a page though I'm not sure if that's needed for printing so we're gonna test that out this print function I'm gonna turn it on and let's pretend in our Google sheet later I end up uh, I end up updating these first ten card or nine cards or however many this is um, I want to print so if I update these nine cards and I want to print cards two through ten I can just go in here I'm gonna take off that apostrophe so that Nandek knows to read that line of code and then I'm gonna put cards two through ten and now when I validate and build the deck it will still make them all but when I go to print it will only print these ten cards or nine cards that's right two through ten so that's a really cool way to use the print function um, you can also say you want I want card 2 and 9 and 13 through 15 and when you when you build the deck that way now you have cards 2 whatever whatever we just did 2 9 13 14 and 15 so again the print function is very useful especially when you update your cards um, I use it a lot and I think it will be useful for you as well so I wanted to show you those things and uh, just again I'm gonna left click print I wanna make sure I'm gonna print all of these so I'm gonna I'm gonna put an apostrophe in front of that again and I just want to make sure that my cards are printing and it looks like they're printing nine to a page which is perfect but I do remember one time when I printed nine to a page oh I know what it was because I have that zoom it makes it smaller than two and a half by three and a half inches so I'm actually I want to show you what happens without the zoom without the zoom when I go to print the cards it looks like they still are printing nine to a page perfectly <laughs> so I'm not sure maybe I did something wrong last time but I remember last time I did it it cut off like half an inch at the bottom of every sheet which stunk so if that happens to you um, know that you can come in here and zoom however many percent you can zoom it try zooming 98 percent or zoom 92 percent whatever whatever works for you so that's how I make my prototypes uh, that's it's super helpful you know the first setting it up takes a little time as you can see but after I have it set up after, uh, I go and play test my game come back and now instead of having to write new cards I just update a couple of boxes of text and numbers and then in Nandek I come in and say which ones I want to print print those off and then I'm ready to play again so it really helps on play tests 2 through 4,000 um, hopefully this kind of information helps you out make your games better and more efficient so that way you can focus more on play testing uh, thanks again for watching and all the support you've been um, it's really cool making the, this game basically in front of others so that you can see where my mind is thinking about the game and also like the technical stuff like how I actually make the game in Nandek and all that kind of stuff. So it's really fun. Thanks again. Please, please leave a comment if you have any questions on what I did or if I went too fast on everything. <laughs> Tell me that too. Uh, but again, good luck making your games, and I hope you uh, have a great weekend.